Good morning. We are fascinated, are we not, <clears throat> by the adventures of David. Um, looked at over a period of time, um, it's astonishing that David kept his heart right before God um, in the light of what Saul did to him day after day after day. And in chapter 19 of 1 Samuel, um, uh, first of all, there's um, another instant when Saul tries to pin David to the wall. But that begins with verse 8, which says, And there was war again, and David went out and fought the Philistines and made a great slaughter. And he was successful again. And the word came back to Saul when he went back. Um, and Saul was again jealous and angry that David had been successful. And this is another mirror image, as it were, of something that happens later on in David's life. Um, when David, all David's men are out fighting and David is at home. He's not leading his men in the war. He's at home and he's idling his time away and he sees Bathsheba and that story, that part of his life begins. He was in the wrong place. And the same is true here, I think, of Saul. Saul sent David out, probably thinking, well, here's another, here's another outbreak of war with the Philistines. Surely this time David will get his comeuppance. Um, <clears throat> and David is successful, and that makes Saul very angry. Firstly, I think because he knew he hadn't been where he should have been. He hadn't been with his men out at war. He'd been taking it easy. And when he comes back, um, David is victorious and happy and and everybody is talking about him again and Saul is jealous and throws the spear at him and David flees. But this time David doesn't stay. He doesn't come back. He, he, he goes to his wife um, and his wife, Michal, helps him escape. But when she helps him escape, she makes it sound as if she only helped him escape because he threatened to kill her. Um, which will have only have endorsed in, Dave, in Saul's mind his thinking about David. But this thought was that Saul was not doing what he should have been doing. He was doing something else. And because he was doing something else... Um, God's blessing was not resting upon him and uh, and David uh, his jealousy with David boiled over again and that's a good lesson for us a good thought for us to have today that we need to be about the business that God has called us to and if we're not because we've deliberately chosen not to be there not to be involved uh, perhaps to uh, I don't know we've chosen not to be there for whatever reason, if if we're wrong and we're in the wrong place, we might find ourselves um, tempted to do something that is not right because we're not right in the center of God's will for us. So this is, I think, I, I think this is a warning that every day we need to be saying to the Lord, um, what are you, what are you going to be doing today? Can I be involved in what you're doing today? Can I be can I be part of it and uh, and get on with the things that God has put to our hand to do and not leave them to others to do? That's my thought for the day anyway. Uh, something to think about, something to muse on. Um, but it happened in Saul's life and it happened in David's life that when they were not doing what they usually did, they were doing something different, um, uh, temptation, uh, was at their door and it's a it's a good thought it's a good thing to think about great stuff and i will see you tomorrow bye bye god bless you bye